Lei Ho Ma, as the locals say, hello and welcome to Hong Kong for the second round clash in the HSBC Asian Five Nations. It's a game between Korea and the local side Hong Kong. Lovely afternoon for rugby today. Light breeze blowing and about 24, 25 degrees. Overcast, very nice conditions for rugby. You'll see the man on the right for Hong Kong in the front row, 131 kilograms of fresh Irish meat, Steve Nolan, Ian Ridgeway on this side of the scrum, and uh, Yang Yang Hoon pushes uh, Peter McKee in the back, although he might have, he's having a smile now, he might have made a meal of that, I think, McKee. He's giving that a reasonable tap, just enough juice to get over, and start the scoring for Hong Kong. A penalty to Glancy, it's three points to nil breathing hard after 30 or 40 minutes. Lovely take from Kim Kyung Sung. Oh, bust out the middle from Kim Nam Wook. He's going all the way. What a great run from the young centre. Right through the middle like a dodgem car, smashing the Hong Kong defenders off. Well, we said at the start of the game, watch out for these young Tyros, and they have nothing to fear. Playing with the exuberance of youth there, Kim Nam Wook, lovely pass to set him on the run. But, uh, well, Hong Kong, def they pride themselves on their defence, but uh, such good upper body strength there from Nam Wook, knocking off McQueen. McKee couldn't lay a hand on him, so he's over under the posts. And this is very good work from Korea. He himself is a pretty large sized hooker. Hong Kong taking this one into a mall inside the 22. Trying to get all those Koreans into the mall, and they haven't. And uh, now Hong Kong taking advantage of it, getting into second, third gear. Been brought down just uh, short of the line. Referee's playing advantage. McKee goes round the outside. The ball's knocked on. The crowd go crazy, but uh, it was knocked on in goal. So referee Taizo is coming back. Penalising the Koreans for dragging that mall down. And it goes over. Second penalty for the day. It's six points to seven. Mike Glancy looking like a pretty cool customer in international rugby. Which way manages to get back up again. Tauti off the base of the scrum. Good tackle there from Kim Kung Su, the open side flank of Korea. Tom Boland takes it. It's scrunched though by the Korean defence and they're going backwards Hong Kong. And uh, the ball's been turned over. Good work from the Korean back. Oh, Yu Yong Nam drops it though. And now Hong Kong have regained it. Korea will have to get back quickly here. Hong Kong really coming at them fast on attack. Out it comes to McClay. Lofted past the Yu Kang Shing. Now it's gone forward though, referee Taizo says. But they'll play on and they'll score a great dummy try. And Salom is very happy. He can have a little mini celebration and then come back for a scrum. <laughs> Korea being relegated in 2010. Going down a division but coming back with a real rampant mentality, aren't they? They're looking up for this game today as Park no Hoon kicks it to Cho and Su. Great work from the winger. He's got pace. He's supersonic. Watch him go. He gets around McKee. He's still going. He's got support. It's Kim Nam Wok. It's number two for Kim Nam Wok. Great open rugby from Korea. Who says they're just a forward pack with a few hangers on? That is brilliant 15-man rugby from Korea. Kim Nam Wook with try number two. And that was absolutely brilliant rugby. I want to see this replay straight away. <laughs> well, Park No Hoon took the ball around halfway and he, he, had, he struggled to get it in his hands. And then what a magic little chip. And this man has pace, Chu and Su. He had the defense on well and truly. He got round McKee and he soared to his right. There he was in support, great line there. Kim Nam Wook just pumped those big thighs and went over. But, uh, well, that was great combination play with the Korean midfield linking with the outside backs. And the back three for Korea. 
They really are danger men. We've got Kim Won Yong, the fullback, and uh, Kim Wong Min. Both have been named most valuable players at IRB Sevens tournaments. So, and then you've got this guy on the right, the Cho itself. Marvellous rugby. This is O. Who just shaves it inside the upright. And that will make the score 14 points to 6. While well, we talked about the importance of scoring just before and after the break, and Korea have come up trumps. And uh, this is a real danger time for Hong Kong. Barty, McKee to Hood midfield who probes with a nice wipers kick beyond Kim Guan Min. Gives it to Kim Won Yong who again, if there's any excuse for attacking and running with the ball in hand, he'll take it. Although well wrapped up there from the Hong Kong defence. So Hong Kong now on attack. Whew, a terrible pass from McKee though to Armour. Again, good strong defence in midfield. It's Kim Yong Nam who's on the field now. Watch out for him. He's certainly a meaty character. Yu Yong Nam getting in the face of Jamie Hood. This is great strong defence from the Koreans. They know they can set the tenor for the second half by defending strongly. But they've breached the offside line, so they'll be penalised again. And he's got that one right in between the uprights. So Jamie Hood starts the scoring off in the second half with a penalty the scores 14 points to nine he's gone from the rooster to the feather duster in a matter of moments as mckee gets this one off the line out ridgeway's there and he's always looking for a chance to run at the opposition gets away nicely gets a couple of meters too houston is also one for a bit of pick and roll they're getting very close under the post here the hong kong team Real muscle from the Hong Kong team. Nobody to the left, so McKee throws a big dummy. Hood was just a little late on his run. So there should be numbers packed to the right here, but Hong Kong keep going to the left. Nobody on the outside. There's a huge, huge piece of real estate, though. If they can get somebody out there, in fact, it's been covered now by the Korean defence. It's Boland, who's dangerously close to the line. In fact, he's over the line. He scores a try. That's good reward for Tom Boland. He's been one of their best players today. And he certainly is an athletic man. Loves running with the ball. And was unstoppable from a couple of metres out. Well, Hong Kong have managed to grind their way back into this game. Been disappointed with Korea's mindset in the first quarter and now this second half. They with a lead. They've just looked determined to hang on. We haven't seen that positive play we saw emanating from them in the first half. We'll see there he is, the local football club hooker, Tom Boland, going over, crashing and smashing his way through. And that's what Hong Kong have looked to do today, haven't they? They've really looked to muscle the Koreans up front. He's allowed to do that. He was brought to ground, but as long as he immediately places the ball over the ground, it's a try. So good work from Tom Boland. That ties the score up with the conversion to come. Important kick here from Jamie Hood. And those lime green boots are working well as he slots the conversion and gives Hong Kong the lead, 16 points to 14. Club trio, which has been broken up now with Bennett as uh, Tauti takes the one, this one away from the scrum. Great pass to Armour. Armour's got Yu Kang Shing on the outside, but he's dropped the ball. Annoyingly, 10 metres away from the line, no one in front of him. And just could not grasp the pass from Armour. And that's what Ross Armour does so well. He injects himself with pace and strength as Taute with the perfect flat pass to him really got his legs pumping it wasn't a bad pass it just looked like Yu Kamshing may have taken his eye off the ball assessing what lay ahead of him that's a chance gone missing for Hong Kong will they rue that 
So it's Lee who gets the ball from the scrum, but it's uh, it's untidy here for Hong Kong. They managed to scramble it though. Lee with his first touch to Hood. Inside ball to McQueen, who crashes his way five metres out. Good support too from the forwards. Yeah, they're finding it very difficult to get the ball out there. Hood goes into scrum out. The Koreans really going to town there. There's some nasty play off the ball. Uh, Hewson holding back one of the Korean players, really taking exception to it. But that's not going to look good, I think, in a minute or two when referee stops play. So they'll come back for the penalty, and the referee identifies that player. He could be spending the rest of the game in the naughty chair, I think. And that will make things a lot more comfortable in the last 10 minutes of this game if he can slot this penalty. And he does easily. He's looked very good, Jamie Hood, since he's come on. Well done to him. It's Dan Watson determined to close this one down and win the game for Hong Kong. Goes to the middle of the line out through Park Soon Chai. Park Hong Sik gets it uh, back football, though, for Park Hong Sik. Squirrels around the left flank and gets bundled out into touch. No, keeps the ball in. Oh, great play from Kim Hyung Soo, the open side flanker. Danger here for Hong Kong. Park Won Yong goes to Park Hong Sik. Park No Hu and all the parks are involved. He cuts inside once, twice, and he's over! He's tied it up here at the Hong Kong Football Club. The big barrel-chested centre, Park No Hoon. Conversion to come. Could this be a win for Korea? What a boil over. What guts and determination from the Korean team. He could see the space there too. He cut back once, twice. Got around Dan Watson, Charles French and Kato Lee. Ross Armour tried his darndest as he crossed the line. But that was a great determined run from Park No Hoon. Well, I semi-criticised him earlier in the day for packing on the weight, but he's certainly been effective in the ball-carrying stakes today. As we see, as we said earlier, Oh Yung Kyung has gone off their number one kicker, so it's left to the experienced fullback Kim Won Yong, who is very handy to the post. There's no doubt about that. But it's his first kick today, and what an important kick it is. Frankly, if he can get this over, Korea could be number two in Asia. There'll be only seconds left. But there's one more chance for Hong Kong. Kusin at the front of the line out. It's going to be another rolling maul. They don't want to give away a penalty here, Korea. The ball comes out. Hood to McQueen. McQueen steps, but he's lost the ball. That should be the game. The Koreans are celebrating. Referee Taizo says it's all over. What a boil over here at the Hong Kong Football Club. What a great day for Korean rugby. Relegated in 2010, down to the next echelon in Asian rugby last year. They dragged their way up. They came here to Hong Kong for their first game in the top five this year. And they've beaten the number two seeds, Hong Kong, by 21 points to 19. And what an exciting game of rugby. What a great advertisement for Asian rugby. And great to see a Korean team back at the forefront of Asian rugby.